Hello everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Java EE course. In this course, we are going to build an airline application with Java EE. We are going to be able to create flights and passengers are going to be able to register and buy tickets for our flights. Our flights will have pilots. There will be, there, there will be an airplane associated with each flight. And of course, the flights will have a destination, an origin, a price, and so on. So it will be an application that mimics what a real airline application looks like. It will be similar to the kind of applications that a real airline company has. And uh, we're going to build this application to learn about Java EE. So this will be the application that we'll build and, and the purpose of working on this application is indeed to learn about Java EE technologies. In particular, we're going to study, we're going to first start by looking at the servlets and GSP technologies. Those technologies are great for, to build web applications for web apps. Then we're going to continue and look at EJB, which stands for Enterprise Java Beans. The Enterprise Java Beans technology will allow us to connect our web application to a robust, strong back-end system. So connect our web app to a robust server-side system. Then afterwards, after we we finished studying EJBs, we're going to continue and study JPA, which is the Java Persistence API, which allows us to communicate with a database from our application, allow us to save and fetch a data from a database so we can store our application data on a database and later on retrieve the information from the database. Following JPA, we're going to cover JAX-RS, which is a REST web services framework, a framework for REST, RESTful web services. And this will allow us to expose our application for other applications to connect to and use. So for example, Twitter and Facebook have a RESTful web services API that expose us to Twitter and Facebook for other applications to connect to Twitter or to Facebook and integrate with them and build application using Twitter or Facebook services. We are going to do something similar for our application. We are going to expose our application through, through RESTful web services so that all their applications will be able to access our application and integrate with it through web services. We are also going to look at CDI, which stands for context and dependency and then C, injection. We're going to look at the basics of CDI and CDI, the context and dependency injection, allows us to get access to server-side resources in our application. We're able to inject the server-side resource that we want our application to depend on onto our application with the help of CDI. So to inject server dependencies onto, onto our application with the use of the CDI technology. All this material is going to be covered in the initial release of the course. Now, following the initial release, I'm actually going to expand the course by approximately, um, I'm going to add, I'm going to add about five lectures per month to the course, per month to the course, so that I will cover those topics in greater depth, those existing topics in greater depth, but I'm also going to, over time, 
add additional topics in particular in the future in future releases i'm going to add the i'm going to add coverage for jax ws which is another web services system uh which is soap web services this is another web services protocol that's not quite as popular as the rest web services protocol but it's still news and we're going to cover that in the future then i'm going to look at jms jms is java messaging mess messaging system sorry this is messaging okay messenger system and the jms allows us to exchange in real time messages between a server and different clients it allows us to create send and receive messages between a server and its clients we're going to look at that in the future as well and i'm going to expand the coverage of cdi we're going to cover cdi in greater depth then we're going to look at jsf java server faces jsf is a front end is a front end web framework that replaces servlets and jsp it's it does a similar job to what servlets and jsp do and this is a different framework that replaces servlets and jsp there we go so we go i'm going to add lectures on that following jsf the last topic we are going to cover is java ee security this is a security framework in java ee that allows us to create users that will be able to log into our application and they will have various rights to access our application so java e security is a framework to log in authenticate and identify users in our application and, and give them various rights and permissions to use our application so this is the last topic so to clarify all those topics are available immediately with the initial release of the course and then as time goes by i'm going to add about five lectures per month to the course and the new lectures are going to cover the existing topics more in depth they're going to add to the existing topics but they're also going to add brand new topics to the course all those all those topics will be covered in the lectures i'm going to add in the future okay but of course all those topics as i mentioned are already there and there are dozens of lectures and those topics th these topics right here are already fully covered and they're already available with the initial release of the course all right let me say a couple of words about my teaching philosophy so i don't believe in slides so no slides i don't believe in you know doing things off camera and then presenting the results because the whole purpose is to show you every step to show you how things are done every step of the way so uh so no rabbits pulled out of hats everything done live uh nothing nothing done behind the scenes So everything is done live and nothing is done behind the scenes with the purpose of you fully being able to replicate what I show. I show something and because I show every step, you should fully be able to replicate what I show on your own computer and become a competent Java EE developer and you know be able to later on use everything that you learn in the course to create your own applications and of course to work professionally as a java ee developer so i hope that you will enjoy the course i hope and uh the last thing i wanted to say is that there are quite a few sample lectures that you can look at before buying the course so i welcome you and encourage you to uh go through the sample sample free lectures 
and see how you know see how you like the course see how this course fits you know see if the course is a good fit for you and if it does i would be you know very happy if you would indeed go ahead and purchase the full course all right thank you very much and hopefully you join me in the first lecture of the course we will start uh, configuring the environment and later on working on servlets and jsp thank you very much